Maloyi, sir. The infidels reached this ability to create sun, producing the sources of energy to be enough for human beings on earth forever. Maloyi, sir, we as Muslims and believers should also do something for human beings in order to not be left behind. Our book is the mother of all sciences. At least you should say something, Maloyi, sir so that we can show to infidels and tell them if they should do these things, we are not behind too. Maloyi, sir, please, say something and I'll translate it to them so they can understand that we also have advanced. You are a pimp whether you are in Europe or America. He says, tell them you are a pimp whether you are in Europe or America. And of course, you are a pimp in China anyways. They neither believe Jesus nor Moses. They are for sure pimps. Now, these pimps who made the sun, they should understand that those things are not important. It's important not to be a pimp. But in Europe, America, China, India, you all are pimps. Why? Because your daughter. Wait, actually why, Maloyi, sir? Even if your daughter makes an illegal relationship with someone else and brings one at home and says he is my friend, you have no choice but to smile at him. Because this daughter brings someone at home with her and says, I like him, father. So he is my husband or life partner without nikah. They are pimps. Now, Maloyi, sir, how should I tell them this in order for them to get happy and not get very angry? Tell me, Maloyi, sir. Actually, it's okay. Leave it, Maloyi, sir. I'll tell them this. But, Maloyi, sir, we are living in this world and we will definitely use their son's energy. Tell them something to make them happy. For example, if we become face to face with Chinese people, though you excluded America and Europe to be pimps with these people, what should we do with them so that they benefit from us? If Mujahid captures an infidel, his wife is a bondmaid, female slave. They can have sexual intercourse without marriage. When a Mujahid captures an infidel, his wife is a bondmaid, female slave. Bondmaid means she is yours, just like you have a sheep. An infidel's wife is also yours. These Chinese, American, and Europeans who work really hard for human beings, if we face them and capture their wives, what is their status upon us? They are our slaves and bondmaids. If it was male, he is our slave. And if she is a female, she is our bondmaid. So, Maloyi, sir, what can we do with the bondmaids in this century? When a mujahid takes an infidel's wife, if there is 100, take it. Keep using them for sexual purposes. There is no need for nikah. Just let their period pass once, so it cleans their uterus so that someone else hasn't used them. We can use their wives for sexual purposes without nikah. <laughs> we can use them for sexual purposes without nikah. Who cares? <laughs> Let them create sun. Let them create anything they want. But if we capture you, you are our slave and bondmaids. We'll take your wife. No matter if she has a husband, she will become our wife. She will become our wife without nikah. She becomes a part of our belongingness and goods. We can sell and buy them and use them for sexual purposes. Now, some say the Muslims caliphate Harun al-Rashid had a hundred wives. This isn't cruelty. They were not a hundred normal wives. They were a hundred bondmaids, and it's allowed. Now they'll ask, are they animals? Yes, they are. An infidel's daughter who fought with Muslims and been captured, they will be dealt with like an animal. If you took a hundred of infidels' wives, well, good job, they are yours. So keep using them for sexual purposes. There is no need for nikah. This is our gift as Muslims to humanity. And why are we doing this? We are doing this based on Quran, the 24th verse of Surah Nisa. Go and read it. He doesn't say this from his own stomach. This is what we Muslims are giving to the world as a gift. The world where we should live shoulder by shoulder with each other as a brother and a good neighbor, with the people who work this hard for the world to create a source of energy for us forever.
The same way we use their medicals, technologies, cars, and airplanes. But that's not important. This is the issue of Islam and infidelity. They are infidels in every way. They are our slaves and bondmaids. We need to take, and with them, and do what we can. For one second, please think to yourself that if a Chinese, an American, an Indian, or a European takes your wife and says it's in our holy book, that wife is our bondmaid, how would you feel? And if you get angry at them and ask why they do such a stupid thing, and they respond to you, that our God said this, brother. What will you tell their God? Wouldn't you say, oh, fuck your God's wife? They are saying the same thing. What kind of God is this? Who tells me to take a guy's wife because he is not a Muslim and she is my bondmaid? Whether you get to take one, ten, or a hundred of them. But instead, take a look at the rest of the people in the world and what they are doing for human comfortability. And see it again that this person who thinks all men in America, Europe, and other countries are pimps. I'm sorry, some of you may not know what Dawus is. It means pimp. Now, what is his own moral? His moral is, Maloyi, sir, once again, please explain it. Now, some will say the Muslim's caliphate, Harun al-Rashid, had a hundred wives. This isn't cruelty. They were not a hundred normal wives. They were one hundred bondmaids. And it's allowed. Now they'll ask, are they animals? Yes, they are. An infidel's daughter who fought with Muslims and was captured, they'll be dealt with like an animal. If you got a hundred women, one hundred women, they are yours. Isn't this being a pimp itself? That you smash others' chastity because they won't believe in the same religion as you? Why should we have this right? Now, what do you say, my dear countrymen? No, those times are gone. No, those times aren't gone. Those times are the current times. Quran's Nas. If you have ever heard it, Quran's Nas means whatever is said in the Quran, it's unchangeable considering the time and place, especially based on the time. This means that what the Quran said 1400 years ago, what Muhammad did 1400 years ago, we should do the same thing without any changes until we're a good Muslim. My dear countrymen, now based on all of this, what kind of people are we? How honorable are we? You don't honor yourself by being honorable to yourself. He says to take a hundred of infidels' wives. They are halal to you without nikah. Sleep with her anytime you want. She is your good or property. Yes, it's allowed. Some will say the Muslim's caliphate, Harun al-Rashid, had a hundred wives. Isn't it cruelty? They were not 100 normal wives. They were 100 bondmaids. And it's allowed. An infidel's daughter who fought with Muslims and was captured will be dealt with like an animal. Though she will not be treated with cruelty, she will only be used for sexual purposes. Yes, cruelty is not allowed. They have this right. Even if they become Muslim, they will remain bondmaid. Well, they were the infidel's wife, brother. The infidel's wife. You are arguing because of that? They are not counted as God's believers. Infidels. An infidel's daughter who fought with Muslims and was captured like an animal. Some say she is not an animal. Yes, she is an animal. You have been captured in the war against Muslims. You're done. You are out of humanity now. You are an animal and should be punished until death. If it was allowed, he would eat your meat too. But we don't eat your meat. Instead, we will use your body. Now, if a woman is young and Malahi sir likes her, he uses her for sexual purpose. Then what? Then she is a slave. What will happen after, when she gets old? Then after, you won't give her food. It's obvious, just let her die. She will become a burden. This is our humanity. And we even read our kalima, belief. La ilaha illallah. There is no God but God. If you really allow your humanity to look at this issue, 
like really allow your human senses and mercies and ask yourself a question that is the God of all worlds one? Why that God created a Chinese, an American, or a European, or even an infidel? To make them slaves for us? Is that it? Why would God create some human beings to be slaves? Isn't God the God of all creatures? It isn't fair for God to create those humans to be our slaves. Therefore, the way we are thinking, my dear countrymen, is unlimitedly inhumanity. Islam is a religion full of inhumanity, without love and respect. We, with this belief, cannot be a good neighbor with anyone in this world, including ourselves. Look at the last 44 years in Afghanistan. What happened? More than 3 million of our people were killed while yelling Allah o Akbar. Either we killed them or they died while in the middle of killing. Now, can we say that Islam is the religion of peace? And what I'm saying are all based on the Quran. It's not to say the mullah is foolish. There are dozens of other mullahs too. They have read the Quran. We know these things. And I have given the reference from Quran 24th verse of Surah Nisa. Now, my dear countrymen, you are probably thinking that we should kill anyone who speaks on a religion. We should kill and do suicide. We should kill. Our religion is the only religion. Our religion is the best religion. But that is what you think. That is not honey. This is actually poison they put on our tongue. We have become poisoned. We are ill. With these beliefs, which are against humanity, we are like a very dangerous animal. Therefore, my dear countrymen, it's your obligation to stand, talk with people, and share this program with people. If you don't know how to discuss, here, I just explained it based on the Quran, and I have done it several times. I ask God to keep you in good health until my next program.